Radhe Radhe, welcome to Hinduism Q&A. Today's question is, are some mandirs or murtis more powerful than others? There are some very famous Hindu temples in the world and there are some very famous deities or murtis of God as well. So sometimes people may think that by visiting one of these places they're going to get more benefit than visiting some other temple or that even, you know, the temple they have in their own house, the puja area, they may have a little murti of God and a little mandir. So they may think that is less powerful and some famous mandir is more powerful. In fact, God is equally omnipresent. He pervades every particle of this universe equally. So it would be impossible for any place to have more God than another place, which means that the same God sitting in your heart is present in your small temple in your house, and the very same God is present in any mandir, whether it be a small mandir or a very big or a very famous mandir. So on one hand, there's no difference between different mandirs. But on the other hand, depending on one's uh, devotional likings, certain mandirs may have more benefit for a person. Let's say there's a mandir where a certain leela of God happened, or a certain saint resided in that mandir. So when that person visits that mandir, they may be reminded of those leelas of God, or they may be reminded of that great saint, and that enhances their devotional feelings. So certain mandirs or certain murtis may have a specific significance for certain devotees, so they may get more benefit from visiting that mandir or worshipping that murti. So everyone should find where they're getting the most benefit, but also understand that the same God is everywhere and the same God is already in their mind and heart. So simply by closing their eyes and just doing rup dhyan, just remembering God in their mind, they're able to make the very same connection. Jai Shri Radhe.